last meeting, we are done discussing about uh, the ways to express probability. Okay, so we have a certain probability, unlikely probability, equal probability, likely probability, and the last one we have here, impossible probability. Okay, so today's discussion, we are going to focus on probability experiments. Okay, so we are going to get the sample space and the total possible outcomes. Okay, so we will be able to understand it one later on. So, I want you to stay tuned and uh, please prepare your notebook in order for you to take down notes. Okay, is it clear? Okay, very good. We have here a probability experiment. So what is the concept of this one? So when we are talking about probability experiments class, it means that uh, it is an action or trial through which specific results or counts, measurements, or responses are obtained. Okay, again, it is an action or trial through which specific results are obtained obtain okay so in order for you to clearly understand this one let's have this another definition of probability experiments okay in probability experiments class we are going to encounter these words okay so we have here sample space so what do you mean by sample space okay so when we are talking about sample space class it means the, it is the set of all possible outcomes of the experiments, okay? Next one, it is denoted by the symbol S, okay? So, when you are going to encounter the, uh, the letter S, therefore, uh, it means sample space, okay? Next one, sample space can be written using the set notation, okay? So, this one, so this is the set notation. So, again, when we are talking about sample space, it is the set of all possible outcomes of the, uh, of the experiment so for example um in this uh, figure on the right side so we have here one two three and four the numbers one two three and four are called sample space okay so we will be able to understand it one later on once i will give you an example and we are going to identify the sample space and the total possible outcomes okay is it clear Okay, very good. Next, the sample space, we have here outcomes. So, what do you mean by outcomes? When we are talking about outcomes, it is the result of a single trial in a probability experiment. Okay, next one. The total number of possible outcomes is denoted by N, then parenthesis, um, or open parenthesis, then uh, S, then close parenthesis. So, uh it means uh, this this is the total number of possible outcomes so again uh, when we are talking about the total number of possible outcomes it is denoted by letters n then uh, open parenthesis then letter s then close parenthesis it means uh, the total number of possible outcomes Okay, so let's have here example number one. Once you roll a die, okay, so rolling a die. So let's identify the S or the sample space and the number of sample space or the total possible outcomes. Again, we are going to identify the sample space and the total possible outcomes. So let's start with the sample space. Again, when we are talking about the sample space, it is the set of all possible outcomes. So we have here, sample space is equal to, so don't forget the set notation, the open and close parenthesis. So we have here, S is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, teacher Kim, packet numbers from 1 to 6 yung nakalagay. It's because, as you observe class, when we are going to have a die, as you observe, meron tayong 1 to 6 na uh, phase. Okay, so we have here, uh, the first one, Okay, so let's uh, identify first the total possible outcomes. So we have here six possible outcomes. It's because if we are going to count, okay, we have here the first one. The first phase, we have here only one dot. Next one, and the second uh, phase, we have here uh, two dots, okay. Next one, we have here the third phase, we have here three dots, okay. Next one, in the fourth uh, phase, we have here four dots. Okay, next one in the fifth phase, we have here five dots. And the last one we have here, 
uh, in the sixth phase, we have here six dots. That's why our total possible outcomes is six. So there will be six possible outcomes when we are going to roll a die. Okay, is it clear? Okay, very good. Let's proceed now with our example number two. So you are asked, uh, what is the sample space and the total possible outcomes when you are asked uh, to get an even number from rolling a die? Or what is the probability um, or what is the sample space and the number of sample space or the total possible outcomes once you are task to get an even number from rolling a die okay so before having uh, the sample space and um, the number of sample space or the total possible outcomes let's define first what is even number so when we are talking about even number class any integer that can be divided exactly by two is an even number okay so uh, it says that uh, what is the sample space and number of sample space when uh, we are going to get an even number from rolling a die. So as you observe, once we are going to roll a die, we have six possible outcomes. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. But we are asked only about even number. So uh, those integers that can be divided exactly by two. So therefore, class, our samples uh, some. Uh, sample space here we have here two four and six it's because one three and five cannot be divided by two okay so that's why we have here two four six it's because two four six can be divided by two that's why our sample space here is equal to two four six and we only have three possible outcomes so again the total possible outcomes is equal to three so we have here n s is equal to our number a number of sample space is equal to three possible outcomes okay is it clear okay very good let's proceed now with our example number three so we have here uh, what is the sample space and the number of sample space or the total possible outcomes when you are tasked to get an odd number from rolling a die? Okay, so again, before proceeding, let us define first what is an odd number. So when we are talking about odd numbers class, these are whole numbers that cannot be divided exactly into pairs. So it means, um, it means that the odd numbers from rolling a die are 1 3 and 5 since it can only be divided by itself so we have here 1 3 and 5 and our total possible outcomes we have here 3 so again uh, 3 is the total possible outcomes when, when we are going uh, or when we are tasked to get an odd number from rolling it down so there will be uh, 3 possible outcomes okay is it clear Okay, very good. Next one, we are going to get uh, the sample space and the number of sample space in flipping a coin. So, uh, based from the given figure class, you are going to flip a coin. Okay, so we have here class, um, we have here um, head and tail. So, the sample space is equal to head and tail. Okay, teacher Kim, bucket head and tail. Okay, so let's identify first what is a coin. The as you observe, once you are given a, a 5 peso coin, so we have here the head and the tail. So therefore, class, once you are going to flip a coin, our sample space here is equal to head and tail. And our total possible outcomes is 2. It's because we have here head and tail, so there will be two possible outcomes once we are going to flip a coin so we have two possible outcomes so what are those two possible outcomes we have here head and tail okay is it clear okay very good let's proceed now with our example number four we have here get the sample space and the total possible outcomes once we are tasked to draw a card at random from a deck of six identical cards suits labeled four to nine okay so again labeled four to nine so therefore we are going to start with number four so we have your four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have six identical chords. Okay. So therefore, class, our sample space here we have here four s e uh, s is equal to four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So our total possible outcomes is equal to six. Okay. Back at six is because we only have six identical chords. Okay. Namely, or labeled four, five, six, seven, eight. So there will be six possible outcomes. Okay, is it clear? Okay, very good. Okay, so um, we will stop our discussion for today. Okay, so we will continue our discussion about probability next time. Okay, so th uh, thank you for listening. Okay, so hopefully you already understand our discussion for today about getting the sample space and the total possible outcome. So next meeting, I will discuss to you about um, uh, getting uh, the possible outcomes or the total possible outcomes using three diagram. Okay, so hopefully you already understand about uh, getting the sample space and the total possible outcomes. Okay, so thank you so much again for listening. See you again next time for another discussion. It's me, Teacher Kim from Teacher Kim channel. If you have some questions, you can comment down below and you can message me privately. So again, it's Teacher Kim from Teacher Kim uh, from Teacher Kim channel. See you again. Uh, see you again next time for another discussion. Bye.